Hello my abai and call. my name is Roman Alpha. Today we are playing Fahrenheit Indigo Property Remastered. Now, I just don't know. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? So the way I know about this game is well, I was like, hey, I kind of want to play a game that's kind of like story based driven type of game. And I just searched that on Steam and this one is one of the top recommended lists. And so apparently this game has been very very old and it's just it's been ancient should I say and it was just remastered like I don't know recently like one year ago two years ago anything I don't know anything special about that but anyway I'm playing Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy the remastered version so yeah so I pretty much did the tutorial all by myself already so you guys don't have to bother about anything about that so yeah we're gonna play the game now so how are you guys doing? Good fam? Okay. So this is made by the Quantic Dream. Ash Aspear Aspear I don't know. Percent mm. Things are never quite what they seem. Oh hold on, I forgot to do something. Oh fudge. Come on, man. Uh, I had to go back guys be right back and now we're back again I'm sorry about that guy but I just turned on the subtitles now so here we go again yeah you seen this right Quantic Dream I still don't know what to pronounce that Aspir I don't know about that I don't know anything about that okay present to things are never quite what they seem we think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. Okay. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Okay. What do you mean like that? I know. Anyway, that's what, that was quite a philosophical feel going on there. But yeah, I can relate to that shit. You know? I mean, you guys, can you too? No? It all started okay. right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. What? I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. Okay, I can talk now. <laughs> Alright, maybe this guy was... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna rant. <laughs> I'll rant a little bit here. I don't... <laughs> I don't know why. I kinda hate it when every movie... Well, not every movie, but most of the movies... Well, because they are English, by the way. They kinda center around in America. Or in New York. Well, because... They were born there, you know, and someone is peeing, and the crowd is pee peeking at the band peeing. Why would the crowd do that? I don't know. It's weird. Ah, oh, the crowd loves it. Mm. I can feel the crowd. Donkey? Was it the one? Donkey? No. Ah! Or screeching. Okay, there's a guy with a knife who's bloody. He's twitching and he's seeing visions. What kind of vision? Okay then. Uh, guys washing his hands. Okay. <laughs> that eyes though. Hey. The door is open and looks like he's going to kill him. Okay. Um, dude, can you see the guy in the mirror? Come on, dude. 
Can't you see him? This fucking dude is so stupid. I mean, you can see him in the mirror. I mean, whoever. I don't know, man. Game logic. I don't know. And. Stab. One. Okay. Stab number two. <clears throat> Go back and walk. Okay. So, two steps. Okay. Oh. King, who is the fuck is that? Who are you? Pretty Gala? Not handle. Amazing. Amazing. Done. What have I done? Okay, I'm, looks like I'm playing that guy. I, I didn't want. It was like a dream. Okay. The girl was like, get. The girl was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Woo -hoo. And there's a fucking gap in the freaking. Ooh. Quick, boy. I, I, I've got to get out of here but before somebody comes in here. Bruh, I turn on the fucking sub. Oh my god, looks like I have to do that in the other game. Okay, bruh. Uh, it looks like I have to do that in another episode. But anyway, we're not playing Fire Emblem. Sorry, guys, I forgot. I know I turn on the subtitles when I play. Oh up. my god. I can't get out this way. Oh, there we go. I, I, I thought I. Bruh. I, I don't understand, bruh. Okay, I'm fucking depressed. Oh, I'm why bleeding. the hell? Okay. I must have cut my wrist with a knife. Both of my forearms are cut too. Okay. Okay. Why? So let's first hide the knife. Let's first hide the knife first. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Okay. First, dispose the knife, the murder weapon. Because I don't know that's more important. Yeah. Plus five. I'm not depressed anymore, bitches. Anyway. Let's go fucking hide the body now. Ah, uh, time to lose a little bit of effort. Mm. Uh. Oh yeah. Uh. Sorry guys, I'm fucking weird. Alright, I'm anxious now. Okay, that is good. I'm not depressed anymore. That is good. That is good. Okay, can I get it? Can I get over here? Okay, there's nothing in here. So. Since I have blood over my body, I think it's a good time to freaking wash our hands, okay? Let's wash our hands. So there's no blood in our body, okay? Okay. I have one question though. Where did where did we where where where, where did we hide the freaking knife? Food? Because you know, eh? Who cares? Yeah. Let's go outside now. Okay, now. Hello there, good sir. How are you? You got a problem, pal? What you want to take a picture? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. The fuck? Why are you so rude, man? Alright oh, then, so I'll get the fuck out of here then. And where's the fuck is this? Okay, let's go look at here. Let's go look, 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 look. Oh, it's the fucking bill. 6.30. 6.30. And 2.30 20. Okay, we have to pay for that shit. Pay them that bitch. Look at look at look at me. I'm a freaking nice citizen. Look at me. Even though know I murdered someone, I still pay the bills. You no, know? but first I have to eat them because I'm fucking hungry. You know. And so I'm gonna drink some freaking soda. Mmm, <laughs> some sprite 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 roux. <sighs> oh yeah. How about Coffee. another drink again? I never drink it. I hate it. Was I with someone? I can't remember anything at all. Uh, what? What? Okay. Wait. 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 You hate coffee? But why? I love coffee, dude. You're not my freaky spirit animal anymore. You're not my freaky character. You hate coffee? Then go fuck yourself. Okay. Right. So I was like, hey, let's go sit over here and talk to the lady. You know? But she was like, Sir, no. Can I get you something else? 
Yeah. No, I, uh, I don't. I don't need anything. Thanks. Okay then. To go watch A some large TV. snowy cold front coming down from Canada is bringing temperatures far below normal seasonal averages. Okay. New snow is expected to fall throughout the day tomorrow, all along the east coast. Here's a temperature map for your area. Okay. 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 So, sit here. Oh, I'm guessing the person who sits here is the guy from the freaking bathroom. Uh, can we talk to this person? Can Hello, I guy. something for you, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought that you were somebody else. Don't worry about it. Man, you're much nicer than that guy. Alright. Hello there, Mr. Officer. Can I talk to you? I just murdered someone. Can I help you with something, sir? It's horrible. In the toilets, I... I've... It... It wasn't me. I, I'm what? innocent. You better go and splash a little water on your face, sir. I think that would do you some real good. What the fuck? Why would tell that to the fucking officer? Get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Okay then. Why? Why would I tell it to the fucking officer? Hi. Um. I just. Uh, I just murdered someone. Uh. It's in the bathroom. You know. Uh. So yeah. I just murdered someone. So yeah. I have to fucking go to the taxi now. I mean, come on. Uh, why would I tell it? Why? Uh, Mr. Hobo Man is here. Hi, Mr. Hobo Man. How are you? I've been treating you good or oh, shit. <gasps> oh my god. Nobody goes anywhere. Okay. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Okay. And I think I already know who killed him. <laughs> the easiest freaking job of my life because some idiot, aka our protagonist, protagonist here. No, it's my fault no, because sorry. I talked to the police. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Oh come Tyler, on, dude. somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. Oh, yeah? If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Carla? Hmm, I know someone who named Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. Okay. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. Ooh. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling we got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Ooh. You're a Mr. Psychologist about that person? Anyway, let's go talk to this freaking guy. Hey, hey you! Partner! How are you, Tyler? How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, hey Tyler. So, hey, Mom. What happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. Okay. I had to go before I went home. Okay. Uh, what were you doing here? Were you on okay. duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Okay. Gates Coffee is the best in the East End. Oh, really, then? No Did anybody witness. notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Okay. The guy came to talk to me. He was incoherent, was babbling about how he didn't do it or something like that. Who? Who is the victim? His name was uh, John, Winston, John Winston, a regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Yeah. Okay, uh, the is body. the body still there? The oh. boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Oh, Nobody's oh, been oh, in the oh, toilet oh. since we found the body. Okay. Standard procedure. Okay. No, Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. Yeah. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Which table was the suspect sitting at? 
Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your yes, help, Lenny. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. Okay. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I okay. wanna make sure she gets home okay. Okay. And this thing will be in red. Right oh, okay. Press two, but okay. We can switch characters. That's cool. Can we switch now? Okay. We can ask questions. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night. Not gotten out till it was all over. That's a problem. If we knew ahead of time what was going to happen, we'd never leave the house. Oh, really? And get back to Tate then. Uh, a lot of freaking philosophical thing in my GB talking about here, anyway. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, hey, Carla. you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're okay. almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, Ooh. let's take a look. Let's take a look, a look, a look. So many philosophical things. I, don't, I can't even comprehend some of this shit. Anyway, let's Kate? go talk to the freaking waitress. Kate. I'm Hi, Inspector Kate. Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? Yeah, would you mind? No. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, how Have you been you? working here long, Kate? Hmm? It'll be 11 years next month. Ooh. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and out as junkies, you name it. Okay. Till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. <sighs> Poor Johnny was such a nice guy. You so you the, you know the victim. How about a suspect? Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. Uh, what was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Uh, is the money. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Well, uh, John, Did the suspect. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Okay. Okay, what the fuck? Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm the during packs. the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Uh, you have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. Yeah, cheer up. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom and that's when he found John. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? This is interesting. You, wait, yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Okay. Perfect. She will never Do you think that face. you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? You okay? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Okay then. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. Um, I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. 
go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Bitch, you don't know what happened to the suspect, aka me. You don't know what I did. You don't know what I saw. You don't know what I've been through. Okay. Good night. Okay, let's go stand up. So, <laughs> getting in with my freaking thoughts around here. So, yeah, let's go use the dooders now. Let's go with this first. Let's go see the table of my uh, table. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Where's the knife? Let's go look at the freaking seat. What happened in here? Traces what happened? Of blood. The killer was at this table. He mm. came back and sat down after the murder. Oh, damn. I should have shut down, man. I should have sat down. I should have. Garrett, should've. there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Okay. Huh? Do you know that, guys? Do you know that reference? No? A cup of coffee right, and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict. Or else, he wasn't alone. I wasn't alone. Okay. Uh, who was the person? I Ooh. don't know. The Tempest by Shakespeare. Oh, let's say Shakespeare. Huh? If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for print? Stress. You got it, Carla. Okay, I'm tense now, okay? Let's uh, go see the bill. Coffee's not on the bill. Yes, because I wasn't... I didn't pay the coffee. But my buddy... I don't know if it's a buddy. Maybe it's either a girl. Or is it either a human. Or human. <laughs> or is it either a guy. What the hell am I talking about? Let's go to the restroom or the back door. Let's go to the restroom first. You know what happened in here. What happened? And I'm going with my partner. Hi there, Tyler. What's up? Okay. And go see the blood on the floor. This is where he killed him. Of course. That's why there's a blood over there. Totally obvious. Okay. Stating the obvious. Mr. Ca Mrs. Captain Obvious here. Yeah? Okay. Let's go open the door. Hello, 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 hello. There's a blood all over the freaking. Why is there blood here? Floor? Again? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not Oof. likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. It belongs to the victim. Uh, to the freaking suspect. We just saw that because I did the murder. Alright. Now let's go up in this store. What happened in here? What you gonna get? This where the freaking bl bloody weapon been put at. Can I talk to you? No trace no. of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Wait, let's go look at the freaking body now. What happened in here? Several mm -hmm. wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. Okay. They appear to be knife wounds. Okay. So, what am I supposed to tell you guys? Oh, yeah. Let's go use this guy a little bit. Okay. Let's go. Okay, what do you say about the blood? The blood, bit of blood. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? He wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. Oh. Of course. Of course. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have to check the toilet. Does it flush? No. Worst service ever. Okay, let's use the other one. Does it flush? Not again. Worst service of a freaking toilet ever. Okay. Do you know so... if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. Ah, uh, my work. Never amazes me. Alright, let's go look at the body again. Okay. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Okay then. Let's go. Wait, what was that? Ooh, what's in the trash, man? What is the trash, man? What is the trash? <laughs> Come on, man. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Okay, looks like the murder weapon is not there. Amazing. Ugh. A girl, can you get out of the way? Okay, right, so what, what am I gonna say? Oh, yes. The, the thing would you be. Right, what's. Oh, oh hey. Table knife covered in blood. Obviously, the murder weapon. Okay, 
Kyle used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Mm. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Okay. Hey, I just said that. <laughs> Okay. So what am I gonna say again? I forgot what I'm saying. Uh, this type of game it makes me kind of forget what I'm gonna say. But the story is great from what I've seen. So yeah, that's why I play the game. I'm gonna talk. Okay, let's go talk then. Um, please. Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Your eyes are keep open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. I mean, look at me. And my eyes open to you. No? Okay. Why do I look... Why do I make a baby face? I don't know. Why do I be... Pabebe? <laughs> By the way, if you don't know Pabebe, that's like, uh... Trying to be cute. I don't know, it's a word made here in the Philippines. I don't know... Why... Why it's a trend now? I... 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 I, I don't know. Don't ask me. So... Tyler... Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Damn, look at that smile. They love each other. Okay, let's go leave them. Let's you go ready leave. to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Okay. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. Let's stay, yeah, because I right. want to tell you guys something let's a little bit. Let's take another look around before we go. So what am I going to say? Uh, yeah, let's go take a look around while I'm going to say anything about that. Okay, so... Hmm. So, you guys remember in the opening scene that the uh, two of these freaking girls. Oh, wait, was it the girl or the boy? Yeah, the boy said about something about a um, crime being popular in. What do you call it, Cypress? Being popular. Look outside. Being popular in America. Well. Oh, wait, in this part of town, rather, shall I say. Well. Well, at least that is... Hey, Mr. Hobo. Well, at least that is white. I don't know. Because... <laughs> what I'm trying to say is... <laughs> I'm, I'm the most boring storyteller, right? Right, guys? All right. Because, um... Let's see. Um, Because currently, where I'm studying at, uh, UE, University East, you can Google that, Google map that shit out. Um, I am the place I am the streets rather should I say we are current I am studying at the streets of recto recto streets to street to route and that place has been known for quite a lot of things quite a lot of crimes into it you know like something murder 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 I said murder three times well what the fuck <laughs> murder I said 40 times already <laughs> and Robbery, you know, most of it, uh, most of the victims are students, and most of the times being robbed at daylight. Yes, that was, I don't know, but but today it's, it's kind of changed, you no, know? since freaking Mr. Good evening, sir. New person Whoa. happened. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, babe. What can I do for you? Um, advice. You know, uh, you really shouldn't be outside tonight. It's freezing cold. If you want, I could have him come and pick you up and... Oh, leave me alone. I'm just fine. I don't need nobody. You know what I'm Uh, how about you? My name is Carla Valenti. And you? What's your name? My name? <laughs> what the hell is my name? <laughs> nobody uses it. Yes, I just forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Bogart, yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> what? You have a friend? Must be because I look so much like that actor fella. <laughs> You're fucking weird, okay. man. I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take okay. care of yourself. Minus five? Why? Because he was weird? Man, let's go. Let's go inside then. The wrong route or the shortcut route? 
Let's go with a long route, man. Because I have something to tell you guys, you know. Yeah, but ever since um the new president here in the Philippines, uh, Mr. Rodrigo Duterte, mm, taking charge, you know, crimes have been like, well, some crimes have been deduced, you know. But you know, when some crimes are not there or have been deduced a little bit, some crimes will like just rise a little bit, you know, because it's cycle of life. What am I saying? Cycle of life, <laughs> because you know, because it kind of balances out things, you know, if you're kind of freaking universe. Because if everything happens in all the positive way, then then why the hell are we living in this in this world, you know? Because because living in this world, there's no such thing as being all positive and shit. No, no, sorry. You just need to learn to balance shit out. You know, you just need to balance shit out. You know what, Tyler? Let's go leave. You ready there. to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Yeah. And Are you sure? Everything I need to say. We can take another look around if you want. Ah, uh, no. Nope. Let's leave. We're good. Let's head home. Okay. okay. Let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Okay then. You're fucking dead tired, Carla. That you're fucking dead tired. All right. So let's, uh, Mr. Tyler Roo, Tyler Roo. Let's go ride in your shotgun back. I'm gonna ride shotgun into the freaking car now. Carl. Carl. <laughs> Yes, Carla. Ah! Oh, fucking weird. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> no. Yeah. Kind of interesting. So what is the, what is the kind of the average height in America anyway? And there's the freaking crow again. And washing the murder all over again. Stabby stabby do. Nice Ugh, what a jump scare. He tried to scare it, guys. You guys, don't be scared, guys. Don't be scared. <laughs> Look at the bomb. A nightmare. Okay. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't okay. kill anyone. Okay. Dude, I believe you. I believe you didn't do it subconsciously. Okay? But it did happen. That's the reality. <laughs> I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. Yeah, it all I, really I get happened. Ready and go to work. Yeah, okay, let's go to work. Let's go upstairs. Oh, Wait, we're upstairs. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. Okay, so I think we're gonna end the episode here. You know, good ending point. You know, because this is a new shit. So yeah, so yeah, so anyway guys, that's all the time I had to play in uh, Fahrenheit, Indigo Property, Remastered, so yeah, that's all the time I have, you know, so my thoughts in this game, okay, uh, the story so far is quite really intriguing because I got to play different type of characters, you got to play a guy, kinda looks like, to be honest, kinda looks like Asian, but what the hell, and a woman who plays the detective, and a guy from a slums, who used to be slums or... Or like used to become like a criminal sort of thing, you know. Used to be like a gangster, no, but he turns out to be a good guy now. So yeah, so we we have some interesting cast of characters, you know. Lucas is the Lucas is the Asian dude. What I'm trying to say, Lucas Asian dude, uh, the chick, uh, that's Carla, Bianchi. Oh, I remember the last name because I like that person. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have uh, Tyler. I don't know the last time because I don't fucking care about Tyler. <laughs> anyway, I just I'm just kidding, man. Don't don't be mad. No, don't be mad. Okay. So yeah, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Oh yeah. I have to, that's all the time I had to play in Indigo. Yeah. Oh wait, Fahrenheit Indigo. Yes, that's all the time I had to play. In. But I kind of want to say things before ending the episode. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> just just say things. All right. So, I'm just going to share a little bit of story, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious. What is the average height in America? Because here in the Philippines, holy shit. <laughs> average height of a person? Uh, I think it's around 5'3". Five, 5 inches in... Uh, yeah, 5 inches in 3 feet. Jumping around those lines. Yes. I, I don't, yeah, we are quite... Sh we are quite... 
short people. I, I gotta tell you that much. I mean, we're not that quite sure in the old times, you know. In the old, old times. Oh yes, the time of the old days. It was like, we were around at a, we were around like 4, 4, 11, 4, 10. That's our average height, just to be. It was like a miracle to become a 5 foot, you know. But right now, yeah, we're going a lot because we've been domesticated. What, what, are we, what the fuck is domesticated word, word again? I don't know, man. I don't know English, man. I'm sorry about that, dude. Uh, because, you know, we've been uh, colonized with different types of countries, you know. We've been colonized with freaking Spaniards, the freaking Americans, you know. Maybe that's why we got a little bit taller now because of American genes that we have here. And also the... Was it the Chinese or Japanese? I think, yeah, it's the Japanese, you know. And shit happens, you know. World Wars, blah, 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 blah. And anyway, it's a freaking history lesson I'm giving to you guys. You should learn thing thing about history, man. Because histories are quite awesome. Yeah. So, so far, I think the game is really focusing about the, uh, the life, you know. On how a person looks or outlooks at life. You know, from what I've gathered, um, the freaking, let's go back and make the game a little bit to show you guys a little bit. When you press Q, you can see, uh, level, the levels of a person, you know. My name is Lucas, then it's stress. From what I've gathered from the tutorial, you know, when I played the tutorial, the highest that you can get was feeling fine. There was no happiness. Okay. It was fine. Then it was tense and anxious or something like those kind of lines so they remove happiness you know they remove the feeling of that happiness to tell you the fact <laughs> this is gonna be a long me talking about little things but so i think this game focuses on about the real aspect of life with just a little bit of freaking magic or like no ma no magic like cult things you know because of the opening scene what happened no stabby 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 so yeah so it focuses more on reality of things you know because in reality of things there is no there is no being happy always always being happy and always being sad you know there's no there's no like things about that you know there's always in between the fine emotion you know, a lot of persons tend to be when they see or when a person see someone, they either see him happy or sad. You know, they just kind of forget the middle part of things. You know, because it's kind of hard to distinguish the middle part of things. You know, I personally, I am quite, I'm, I'm feeling fine, quite fine, but. As I turn off this freaking recording, you know, I'm quite sad because I, I'm not recording anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a chance to talk to you guys, you know. So yeah. By the way, it's been a long ass time of me talking. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm not here to waste your time, you know. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna share more of my thoughts in the next episode. Mm. By the way, Cry of Fear is still up and running, and Abnisha and Internal Senya. It's just that I moved to a new laptop, you know, so yeah, I need to get back in playing those games to get those save files, you know. So that's why I played a new game for a little bit now, so you guys can enjoy a new content a little bit, you know. Even though this game is freaking fucking old, at least you get to enjoy me talking about things, you know. Because I guess I can show you guys a little bit of my philosophy, you know. So anyway, guys, I've been babbling way too much. It's becoming like a freaking vlog and freaking video game. Commentating. Anyway, that's all the time I have to play. What the fuck is the game? Yeah, Fire Knight. <laughs> Indigo Pro Prophecy. So yeah, remastered. That's all I have time playing. So as I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.